Crow song and frankly I forgot about it but I had someone um, send me a nice question and I thought it'd make a really great lesson. Um, Mark really wanted to know how um, to play the song as one guitar, what nuances to add and I really thought that was a cool question because I don't I, I like requests but I don't always necessarily do them because the song has I have to relate to it and really enjoy it and so forth otherwise it's work but anyhow I thought this was a great question um, for playing with this band and being able to cover this song and do some of the things in standard tuning um, there's a great lesson by Tone Doctor on YouTube I'll put a link below the video to that um, there's also another lesson I learned to play it right where he does the solo fast and slow so I'm not going to cover those parts. I'm going to cover the standard um, guitar part that Mark Ford played and compliment Rich Robinson. And within that context, we'll add some nuances that can kind of make it sound like both guitars. Intro the song. What we want to do at the 17th fret, just kind of lightly push a string down and slide it down until you reach the F chord. Okay, so it'll sound like this. And then we're going to right, go right to our F. And then we're going to go to an E and C. Alright, these are power chords. We're not playing the full chord. If we were, that'd be an E minor, but that's a whole other story. But just do the power chords, alright? F, E to C. Alright, the second movement will be E flat to D, and then to B flat, all right? Now, the nuance I want to talk about is the rhythm. So when we do the first set of chords, we're going to land on that C and do a down stroke, and then what we want to do is come up with an up, down, down. All right, so it should sound like this. And then we're going to do a down, and then an up, down, down again. And one more time. Alright, what we're doing is allowing that other guitar to have some room to play the licks that he does. So, let's do the rhythm slowly. One, two, three, four. To the next set of chords. All right, and that rhythm repeats, okay? And then we're into the C um, part of the intro. We'll go, we'll go through those two sets of chords twice. A C chord. Now this C is going to be up here at the 10th fret and rather than play a C this way with the 6th root we're going to be using the 5th root. We're going to just be using the 5th and 4th string at 10. So we have a little chukka there. So two downs and then a down up down and then a down, down again. And then a down with going to add the sixth. Now to do that, we take the fifth string and add the twelfth fret. And I'll slow it down. One, two, three, four. that 
a total of four times or for a full measure, I'm sorry, two measures. <laughs> continue that rhythm we'll just move everything down a full step so we'll be on the eighth fret and then hammering into um, the tenth <laughs> Okay, but we're just doing it for a measure each. We'll go between this B flat and C. So for the verse, once we come out of the C, we'll be doing B flat measure, C a measure, B flat a measure, and C a measure. Okay, so let me take you through the verse, and then I'm going to go into um, the end of the verse, or it's kind of like a bridge to the chorus. All right, so we're going to start singing, Baby, Baby, Why Can't You Sit Still? One, two, three, four. saw what I did when I was on that C adding the 6 right below it is our F and I'm just using the 4th and 3rd string again a little nuance rather than playing the full chord because we're here at the 10th fret we can just stay at the 10th fret play that partial chord 4th and 3rd string and then where it's important is when we come up to the C we want to play the full C chord So you'll go through that actually four times, those two chords, just like the intro, or two sets of chords, just like the intro, all right? And then we'll be into the chorus, and I'll show you that next with a couple nuances you can do to that. So I'm going to do the little bridge after the verse. If I come on like a dream where we do the E flat to D to B flat and then F to E to C twice. Um, if I come on like a dream, and then we'll go into the chorus so you can see how it fits together. Um, we're just coming out of the verse. playing the sixth root we're going to be playing the fifth and fourth string at um, eight and then we're going to a C sharp all right and we'll reference that at the fourth and third string rather than playing the full chord and then we add a little suspended so you can put your middle finger on the second string at the seventh fret and follow it up on the eighth fret with your ring finger and then we're going to come up to a um, A flat rather than playing the sixth root. Again, we're sticking to the fifth and fourth. And then back to the fourth and third string at the um, eighth fret. So it's kind of like we're going back and forth. All right. But we want to add a little nuance to it. So we're going to add that suspended. And then the A flat. And then when we go to the E flat, we're going to pull off to C sharp. All right. 
right? And if you keep that rhythm going, you can add just some little um, chuckas. <laughs> you the rhythm of the song. We're going to come back into what's part of the intro. So we're going to E flat to D and then our B flat. And then to the C. C for two measures and then we're back into verse 2 when we go B flat to C, B flat to C and then the little bridge to the chorus. Really that's the gist of the song. Um, I'll talk about the solo and the rhythm there and the outro and we'll have it all set. So after the second verse we have another chorus that we repeat same way we played it. <laughs> There, what we're going to do after coming out of that second chorus, we're going to go into the solo. So it starts with an E flat to D to B flat. And while he's playing that B flat, the guitar will come in with the solo in a B flat minor kind of Chuck Berry move, okay? There's your B flat. All right. There's our B flat chord. Then, again, because it's like the uh, bridge, we're going to come to the F, E, and then C. And that's when the solo moves up to the C shape. All right. And again, I'll put a link to how to play that below the video. So we'll go through that again. Then we're going to groove on the chorus. play a little softer, groove through that chorus rhythm, and the outro will start on our E flat to D and B flat. And you'll hear a little pick scrape, so you're taking your pick up the string. And then you're going to finish with the F, E to C. the song. So um, another note, don't distort it too much. The guitar honestly is fairly clean. This is my saw, uh, sound without my pedal. Which honestly would be fine, but I just add a little bit of drive to it to give it that. So that'll help you get the tone. I hope you enjoy.